Did you know that with your cell phone, like an Android or an Apple, that you can wirelessly up to 75 feet control many different Honda generators out on the market that is equipped with Bluetooth technology? Using a cell phone, you can remotely stop the generator, display power output levels, receive notifications for errors, maintenance alerts, and much, much more. So stay tuned to my video and I will walk you through the process step by step on how to set up your smartphone with any Honda generator that is equipped with Bluetooth technology using the My Honda Generator app. So let's get started. This video is not sponsored by Honda. All items used in the video are paid for out of my pocket. And if you are new to my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button. And if you would like to support the YouTube channel, be sure to click that thanks button. Any amount would be greatly appreciated. So the first step into setting up the Honda My Generator app on your cell phone is actually taking your Android device and going to the Google Play Store or take your Apple device and go to your apps and you want to download the Honda My Generator app right on your cell phone. So download that app, Honda My Generator. So after you have installed the My Generator app on your cell phone device, you can go ahead and open the My Generator app. For my setup, I'm going to go United States. We're going to go to English. And you want to accept the terms and conditions. You can read through that if you like. Hit accept. It's going to bring up the different generators. You're going to select the generator you're using. In my case, it'll be the EU2200i. It says scan the QR code and the QR code would be on the side of the Honda generator. So now that I located the QR code on the right side of the device, I'm going to take the uh, phone or my device and I'm going to scan that QR code. From there, we're going to follow the prompts. So the prompt is telling me to turn on the generator. It says only use outdoors and far away from windows. Begin to pair within 30 seconds after starting. If you already started the generator, restarting is required to be able to pair. So the prompt is telling me to start the generator. Here is where the app gets a little bit tricky on the setup. If the app failed to start, the app will ask you to rescan the QR code or to enter the QR code manually. Rescan the QR code or enter the QR code manually. If the app failed to start, shut down the generator, rescan the QR code, or enter it manually, restart the generator, follow the prompts. When the generator model appears, you want to select the generator model.
once you select your generator model, you're going to click pair. You have the option to rename your 2200i. For my demonstration, I'm going to put in a new name for the generator. Once you put in your name, now you are ready to start using the My Generator app. For my test demonstration, I'm using a 30 amp to a 15 amp adapter that has two 110 outlets. It has the three prong 30 amp and it plugs directly on the left of the Honda EU2200i generator, NEMA L5-30P. On the other end is the 2X5-20R. For this test, I'm using a kilowatt electricity usage monitor. The kilowatt monitor plugs directly into the 110 outlet and it'll show the available outlet voltage in real time. Also, the kilowatt monitor will show the amps, the watts, and the hertz that's being used from the generator in real time. For this demonstration, I'm plugging in my large Husky air compressor and it'll show on the kiloamp meter exactly how many amps or watts that the large air compressor will pull from the Honda generator. Next, I'm turning on the large air compressor and turning off the eco on the Honda generator to display the air compressor output in real time. Next, I can compare the kilowatt electricity usage monitor to the My Honda Generator app. One of the things that I like about the My Honda Generator app is that you can go into the settings and you can actually change modes on the fly. For example, I'm changing the theme from dark to light. And also I can change the volts to amps and see the readings in real time. And now I can switch over the kilowatt usage monitor from amps to watts and I can do the same on the My Honda generator app in real time. One of the features I really love about the My Honda Generator app is shutting down the generator just by holding the green button for one to three seconds. Another shutdown feature that I love about this Honda generator is that when the engine switch is placed in the fuel off position, the generator will continue to run for several minutes until the fuel inside the carburetor has been consumed and then the engine will stop running. 
This will prevent the copperator from gumming up over long periods of storage. So what do I think about the My Honda Generator app for the Honda Generator? I think it's cool to monitor your output voltages in real time on your cell phone. I wish that the Honda Generator had came with plug adapters, but I had to purchase them separately. I will include a link in the description of the video of where you can pick up one of these 30 amp three prong plugs. It did not come with the Honda EU2200i, but it plugs into the 30 amp side. It's a locking plug and it has a 110 outlet on the other side. Also, I picked up an extension cord for the 30 amp connector on the Honda EU2200i. It did not come with the Honda generator as well, but I will include a link in the description of the video of where you can pick up one of these um, cords for the Honda generator. It plugs into the 30 amp side and it has two 110 outlets on the other end. Also, one of the things I do like about this uh, kilowatt meter is it'll give you the volts, the amps, the watts, and the hertz in real time. Um, the Honda inverter EU2200i has the Bluetooth capability of also giving you the amps and wattage in real time. So I will include a link for all of the things that I've used here in the video. If you guys like this video, be sure to click the like button. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I will talk to you guys later. See ya.